Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Alan and I'm a full-time professional magician. You clicked on this video because you want to learn how to do magic with cards. That's a great thing. I love that. I'm a card magician myself. I'm huge into card magic. Been performing it for the last 14 years professionally and a deck of cards has fed my family for that last 14 years. So I know something about card magic. And uh, I put together a little short list of five books that I think you should be taking a look at if you are trying to get your start in card magic. You can watch YouTube videos. I've got plenty on this channel where you can learn lots of card magic tutorials. But if you're trying to get the biggest bang for your buck, all the information condensed into one place and progress in a linear fashion, a book, you can't really be beat for that. So I have my top five list for card magic tricks. Just before we get started, this is not an exhaustive list. There's plenty more. And if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I will make a part two. Okay, so Foolproof Card Tricks for the Amateur Magician by Carl Foles. This is put out by Dover Publications. They pick up a lot of public domain magic books and reprint them to keep them alive and allow magicians of future generations to be able to access this kind of really great information. Also known as New Self-Working Card Tricks. This has tons, and I mean tons, you look at that, look how thick that thing is, of tricks with cards. That's all that's in here. And a lot of these are super easy. A lot of them don't even require you to do any uh, previous setup to the deck or anything before you start. They're called impromptu tricks. So there's a lot of impromptu card tricks in here. You can just pick up a deck of cards and you can start performing right away. Some of them you will need to prepare in advance. That's okay, that's, you know, part of the deal. But I definitely take a look at this one. Okay, number two on our list goes to Encyclopedia of Card Tricks. This book, I actually have two of these, I have two copies of this book. So what's great about Encyclopedia of Card Tricks is that it starts to introduce you to some other types of cards and gimmicks that aren't really inside of Carl Fold's foolproof card tricks book. Encyclopedia of Card Tricks, you have tricks with double backers, double facers, uh, what's called a stripper deck, it's not what you think it is, and also Svengali decks. And so there's a lot of information in it getting you introduced to the world of card gimmicks and trick decks of cards, as well as a lot of really great tricks with a normal pack. If you're interested in a stripper deck or a Svengali deck, they're both really great. You should pick some up if you don't have them already. I will leave a link in my description below. All right, so number three on my list is Scarney on Card Tricks. It's written by John Scarney. My copy is actually from the 1950s, it's quite old. But what he did is he took all of the greatest magic, card magic, that magicians of the time and previous generations were doing that were easy to perform, and he put them into a single volume. And tons of pro-level tricks and routines in this book, and they're all really easy to perform. Number four on the list goes to Card College by Roberto Giabi. This is actually a five-part uh, book series, and then he's also released uh, you'll see Card College Light and, and some other versions. Those are Card College Light, don't get confused on that. That's not like a stripped down version of Card College One or the series. It's actually an entirely different book. So if you're just starting, don't grab that one. You really want to grab Card College Volume One to start. This is my copy from when I was 11 years old. I got this, this is my first serious book of card magic, and it has got tons and tons of really great powerful stuff in here. Uh, flourishes with card bands and one-handed cuts and all these kinds of really cool, pretty looking things that you can do with a deck of cards. But Roberto actually treats this like a college course, right? He goes through and he says, okay, well, here's the fundamentals you need to know before we can even start doing card tricks or anything. You have to learn, commit these basic fundamentals to memory and to muscle memory and then everything will flow from there. So he starts a lot of the chapters with learning the fundamentals, and then at the end of that chapter, brings all those fundamentals together to perform a magic trick, which then he explains how to do the magic trick. Since you've worked on everything up to that point, once you get to the end of the chapter, when you learn the magic trick, you're gonna have a much easier time knowing how to perform it correctly. Roberto Giabi, I mean, you could, this one book is what launched my entire magic career and made me, you know, no slouch when it comes to card magic. This is this is a serious book for serious card magicians. 
Okay, now I said that number five on the list was actually two books. It is, it's Card Control by Arthur Buckley. This is lots of really heavy duty card manipulations called Move Monkey stuff in the industry, where you're trying to learn all of the moves and all the ways you could possibly control the cards. It's in here. This is a crazy amount of slights and flourishes and manipulations that you can do with cards. And then you also say it says 40 original card experiments. In the industry, we call we call tricks experiments in an old magic book. They're really talking about a trick, okay? But this is a great book. This is also published by Dover and you can pick it up very cheaply. Excellent book. All right, and now The King. I would not start with this book, though it's considered the Bible of card magicians. It is a very difficult, very dense manuscript to get through. There's an interesting mythology around it, which you can read inside of uh, newer editions where you have a forward by um, Martin Gardner. Definitely see if you can find a copy with that because the forward is so interesting, gives you such an interesting history on the book and its publication and the author. This was originally a book written for card cheaters to cheat at cards, uh, but there's also a giant section on there about magic. Uh, you've probably heard of the Erdnase color change. You may have been poking around the internet and found that. It's where you do the little rub change. This is Erdnase. This is where that came from. This is an excellent book, but it is extremely difficult to get through. There are only a few magicians in the world who have truly mastered everything that's in its pages. It is something that you can come back to your entire life and find new hidden gems and things you didn't realize you missed. So guys, those are my book recommendations. If you're trying to learn how to do card magic tricks, I, this is a really great place to start. Of course, there are other books. If you want to hear more, you wanted me to pick another top five, please leave me a comment down below or a thumbs up on this video. If it does real well, we'll make a part two. 